Only 18 years old and living without her parents, Denise Chacon shares her passion and struggles as a photographer. This is Denise. Um, so I was born in Denver, Colorado, but I lived in Aurora till I was about four years old. And then my parents' visas expired, so we had to go back to Mexico. Um, I don't have siblings, so I didn't really have anything to do when I was in Mexico. I was like really bored. So my parents decided that it would be a good idea to buy me a camera when I was around 12. So they bought me a camera and I got into like this little photography club, I guess you could say, um, which is where I learned most of what I know now. Um, after continuing like my career with photography for about three years, when I was 15, I started working as a photographer for um, weddings and quinceañeras, which is a very typical um, event in Mexico. Um, it's very popular, so we had a lot of work. After working as a photographer for a couple years, I realized how passionate I really was about photography and how how fun. I just I just really found photography, and it became like a motivation to um, continue uh, my education. So. I didn't see much future in Mexico and I talked to it um, with my parents and they they supported me. They said that if I wanted to pursue my career as a photographer, I might have to go somewhere else because um, Durango, which is where we lived in Mexico, is very small and it's very hard to be a recognized photographer there because of how small it is and because photography is not so recognized as an art over there as it is here. So when I was 16 years old to my junior year of high school, I decided to move back here to Aurora, Colorado because I would like to pursue my career as a photographer. And I have, um, I do senior pictures for my friends and I charge them. Um, I have a Facebook page and I um, get a lot of bookings from there too. I did do a quinceanera over here also. Um, and recently I received a $500 scholarship um, from the Denver Art Institute for um, a photography. It hasn't been as easy as I have um, mentioned. Um, it is very hard over here. Of course, photography is recognized as an art, but so many people want to pursue the same career that there is so much competition. Um, also over here with the iPhones, the pluses and stuff like that, like mine, um, that come with the portrait effect. Um, they almost look like professional pictures and like to the normal eye to someone who is not a photographer a phone like a picture with an iPhone 7 could for them would look the same as a picture with like a camera just like mine um, which really sucks because I feel like people aren't um, taking photography as serious now there's so many other people who are like oh yeah I'm a photographer and only use like their iPhone 7 plus or their iPhone 8 plus which I think is ridiculous but um yeah it's been it's been hard to um, to actually develop and um, make like my whole plan out as um, a photographer, but I'm working hard. I sign up for classes. I um, have photo shoots with peers, and we like give each other tips and like we support each other. And um, I think I'm getting there. I think that if I keep working as hard as I am today, um, I will be able to reach my dream and be a photographer. I think one of my um, inspirations as a photographer is definitely my um, my old boss. Um, he trusted me and he believed in me, although I was so young. Um, he believed in the talent I had and um, he owns his own company, but he still works as a photographer and I aspire to be like him. Um, I want to have my own company, but I don't want to just become like a manager. Or like a, I want to actually be a photographer. I want to be there when like at people's weddings, at um, girls' quinceañeras, because I think it's such a special job to be able to hold that responsibility of capturing people's like, people's most important moments in their.